but a positive trend, Nick, when it comes to vaccination rates in minority communities. A new poll shows more people of color are now willing to get the shot. News 12 New Jersey's Marcy Rubin joins us tonight from Jersey City with more. So Marcy, which organization is behind this data? It is a nonprofit group out of Newark called Project Ready, which advocates for social justice and racial equality in areas like education, opportunity, and health care, which includes vaccination. When we looked at the people that weren't um, likely to get the vaccine, they said side effects were the, um, one of the reasons and distrust in the government. But now, efforts to battle those fears of side effects and distrust of the government and encourage communities of color to get the COVID vaccine seem to be working. That, according to a just-released poll of more than 1,200 New Jerseyans. We did see at the beginning of the pandemic a uh, disproportionate amount of black and brown people affected by COVID. So the fact that now we're seeing a decrease in vaccine hesitancy. I think it's a great thing. The study commissioned by a nonprofit social justice group called Project Ready found 69% of black voters would be willing to get vaccinated when asked in May. That's compared to the 62% who were willing back in February. 83% of Hispanic voters say they would be vaccinated now compared to 77% in February. Credit is going to outreach efforts and education, building trust and comfort levels. They see their, their cousins and their uncles and faith-based leaders, um, community leaders getting that shot in the arm, they're more likely to go ahead and say, hey, I can do this too and get that shot in the arm as well. Of course, willing is not the same as doing. Vaccination rates continue to be lowest among communities of color, so the job is not done yet. We don't need to get comfortable. We don't need to say, hey, the numbers are trending in the right direction. Let's, you know, pause or um, not go as hard as we have with our efforts. I think we still need to continue our efforts until everybody that can get vaccinated has access to a vaccine. So Marcy, did they tell you what else can be done to ease any concerns people at home may have? Yeah, we talked about continuing to educate the communities here in New Jersey and also uh, bringing mobile vaccination clinics into the communities, making it more comfortable, easier access. That is key. And that is something that is happening here in Hudson County. Actually, this week, they are bringing mobile vaccination clinics to different communities this week. Brittany? So important for people to know. Marcy, thank you.